Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all who's watching. I pray your day was blessed. And I pray that Jesus gives you peace right now. I want to read from uh, Revelation chapter 2. And this is speaking about the loveless church. I'm trying to get a better angle here. Um, to the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things says he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lamp stands. And remember, we spoke about um, the seven stars being the seven angels and the seven lampstands being the seven churches. I thought I'd add that. Um, pardon me. Um, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not and have found them liars and you have persevered and have patience and have labored for my name's sake and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Now I studied the Nicolaitans, and the reason that Jesus hated their deeds were, was because they were idol worshipers, um, and they also um, held the doctrine of Balaam and um, I'll leave some links here that you can um, study as well a couple of different articles um, but he hates uh, the deeds of the Nicolaitans and um, you can study that on your own but I just wanted to share that with you as well so I'll leave the links for you to study and that's the thing about Jesus he doesn't hate the person he hates the sin and he hates the the sinful deeds so okay he who has an ear let him hear what the spirit says to the churches to him who overcomes i will give to eat from the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of god okay the persecuted church and to the angel of the church in smyrna write these things says the first and the last who was dead and came to life I know your works, tribulation, and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of these things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested and you will be um, have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. The Compromising Church And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things says he who has... The sharp two-edged sword, I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast to my name, and did not deny my faith even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed to idols and to commit sexual immorality. Thus, you also have those who hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which things I hate. Repent, or else I will come to you quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Amen. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat. 
and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it. We'll go on to the next page, which is the corrupt church. And I wrote, repent, repent, repent at the top. Um, I do write and highlight in my Bible. It helps me when I'm studying. And, and the angel of the church in, I have a little bend there. Thy, Thyatira, write, these things says the Son of God who has eyes like a flame of fire and his feet like fine brass. I know your works, love, service, faith, and your patience. And as for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you because you will allow that woman, woman Jezebel, I put X's all over her name, who calls herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Indeed, I will, pardon me, indeed I will cast her into a sickbed and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation. I don't know what is going on with my phone. Unless they repent of their deeds, I will kill her children with death. And all the ch churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and the hearts. And I will give to each one of you according to your works. Now, to you I say, and to the rest of Thyatira, Thyatira pardon me, as many as do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, I will put on you no other burden, but hold fast. What you have till I come, and he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him I will give power over the nations. Amen. He shall rule them with a rod of iron, iron, speaking Jesus there. They shall be dashed to pieces like the potter's vessel, as I also have received from my father, and I will give him the morning star. That's also Jesus. Now in the Bible it does speak about Satan being the morning star, and I'll and I'll put a article in there for you as well. Um, but that was before he was fallen, when he was Lucifer, when he was a beautiful angel in heaven, and he came against God and wanted to sit in God's throne. So that was before he was fallen. Anyway, the article is in there, but this is speaking of of Jesus, the morning star. And he's our hope. Uh, he who has ear in ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So I hope this blessed you today. I'm not sure what my phone is doing. <laughs> Dear God, come Holy Spirit. All glory be to God and praise Jesus Christ. I'm not moving my phone at all, so I'm not sure what's going on. But I do plead the blood of Jesus Christ. And I command any attacks from the enemy to be made null and void by the power and authority of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the blood of the Lamb. Amen. God bless you all in Christ. Amen.